Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today I wanted to show you how to make a simple little Christmas gift, uh, a beer bottle opener, a magnetic beer bottle opener. They're really easy to do, and uh, yeah, let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. The first thing I do, I get some maple and some poplar, and this is what I'm looking out my window at while I'm working. Got a buck there and a couple of does. And I'm using maple and poplar, because that's what I had laying around. And I cut them all at 12 inches, and I make sure that they're all exactly the same size. And I'm using a stop on my T-Track with uh, my Hitachi chop saw. And I got dust collection on the bottom. The first thing we need to do is establish our dimensions. And I'm gonna use some material that I have that's three and a half inches wide I'm going to cut them to 12 inches, and these are three-quarter inch thickness. We're going to do standard because we're going to do a simple V-carve, and hit OK. So now that we got our material dimensions, we put this deer in here. And this is the same deer that I've kind of been using on some of my cutting boards, and I kind of like the way it looks. So we're going to batch out. What we're going to do is we're going to make some uh, bottle openers. And we're going to have the deer in the middle. The bottle opener up top and we're going to do a magnetic catcher down below and we're going to do 10 of them and so the first thing we need to do is do the deer so we'll go over here to the tool path and we're going to just highlight him we're going to do a simple v-carve and start depth 0 0.05 yes we're going to do offset and we're going to go ahead and put our tool number down 1502 calculate well, let's take a preview of him so make sure he's looking okay make sure he hasn't gone all the way through and he looks okay okay let's save this and go over the machine and i'll see you over there the first thing I do is install the 1502 white side 90 degree V-bit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up this jig with the Rockler T-Track and I'm going to just batch out all 10 of these. So I don't really have, all I have to do is home the machine and do the XYZ one time and then I can just hit start all 10 times and it works pretty good. So this is a really good way to batch out stuff. So I do the first one, it's pretty quick. Go ahead and take that one out, put another one in. Hit the start button. And I just do this 10 times. Next up, after I get all those 10 cut, I change the bit to a RD2075 by Whiteside. It's a down cut spiral bit. I do the XYZ. And you only have to do it one time. And then I cut all the magnet slots in the back of the... So I flip the board over and cut all the magnet slots. And that goes super fast. And these slots, I cut them uh, 5 8 inch deep, which left about an eighth of an inch of wood. So the magnet was really close to the front of the, of the bottle catcher. Once I got both sides cut, it was time to lay out some paper and spread these things out and get ready to epoxy the deer. And I was going to do a kind of a green and just pour them all at the same time. I've started to learn that it's just as easy to make 10 things as it is to make one. So it, it, future, future things that I do, I'm going, to, I'm going to batch them out so that it's just as it's really easy just as easy to do multiples right here i'm using the last of this little jug of epoxy i'm getting out some green dye and i threw a little bit of um glow green glow material into it but i didn't notice that that worked very good but but the green deer did look okay so i was pretty happy with that 
Right here I mixed about eight ounces, uh, one to one, using the super clear epoxy. And there you can kind of see how green it is. It's kind of a light green. I started to learn that when I do these deers, um, the way the V-carve works, if I make the dye a little bit translucent, it seems to look a little better, where you can kind of see into the V-groove. And that's been, that's been turning out pretty good, actually. Once I get them all poured, I torch out any bubbles that are in there. Add a little bit to any spots that look like they need it. And then the next day I get out my sander and turn on the dust collection and sand the tops of all these. I start out with 60 grit, then I go to 100 grit, then I go to 120, and then 240. Once I was done sanding, I get out my little porter cable and I put a little cord around, around the whole top. Next up, it was time to stain them. So I do a little cleanup and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do five natural color and then five with light oak stain. Once all the staining was done, I then proceed to clean everything off, let it dry, and then I sprayed um, some clear on all, all 10 boards. And I put a couple coats of this clear on here. Once that was done, it was time to mount on all the beer bottle openers up top. And I picked a good spot and I pre-drilled one of them and then I just marked all and then I just uh, marked all of them the same. Once that was done, I screwed all the bottle openers on. The idea I had was that you would actually take those little screws out and use some longer screws and go right into a stud on your wall or wherever you're going to mount it. Once I got all the bottle openers on, that's what they looked like. It was time to put the magnets in. So I flipped them all over. And the magnets I bought came with double-sided adhesive tape, 3M. And they seem to hold really well, so I just, I just used that. Now you can add more than one magnet. These magnets are inch and a quarter, or yeah, 1.26 by eighth inch. And they're pretty strong. But I have seen where you could add, add another one, and then it would catch the bottle opener even better or the bottle cap. But these seem to work pretty good. I think if I did another batch, I would put the magnet up a little higher. Um, but I was trying to avoid the deer for sure. Because it's not, you don't, it's a pretty deep hole right there. It's five eighths inch deep. And there's really only an eighth of an inch of material on the finished side. Once I get all the magnets put in, it was basically time to install one of these and try it out. Right here I use a magnet to find the stud on the wall. I then proceed to install it on my wall. And I used the, the stained one. It just looked like it matched my door a little better than the clear ones. I then get a tape measure and I use my magnet and basically mark the location of where I'm going to put this. And I thought it'd be nice to have one down in the shop, so basically what I did was to take the small screw out of the bottle opener and put a long screw in and screw it right into the stud. Get out my level, check make sure it's nice and plumb, and put the second screw in. I then test her out. And there you go. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I really like the simple little uh, magnetic bottle opener. You can add, you can add more magnets in the back of this thing. Um, you, you can stack them to make them even more powerful. Right now, I just have one because I ordered a pack of ten, and I'll leave a link in the description of the stuff that I ordered. And they also have nicer top pieces that you. You know, you can do that. You can make these. They're really simple, and uh, I think they make a nice Christmas gift.
I think if I had it to do over again, I would have put the magnet up a little higher. And but I am gonna I am gonna add another magnet to it. But it's a simple little gift, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe, like, and I will see you next time. Later. Any products that you see us make on Outlaw Woodworking in our shop, uh, we now have available at our store, and you can find it right here at Outlaw woodworking.bigcartel.com. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.